hello in my previous video we already create uh, we already configure our uh, web service calling part web service client calling part so we will proceed with the next step right now so I am going to take my IntelliJ idea right now and we will do the remaining so the first thing I need to include is include xst or wstl file so i have one xst probably that will accept by probably that will accept by my web service so it's a customer one consumer one so this is a xst one so i will try with that so before that I need to go to the uh, uh, SRC main I need to go to the schema directory so SRC main resources and WSTL so I have WSTL here but right now there is no file so I, what I am going to do is I am copying this one pasting here paste it here and I need to make some changes in my form so instead of X WSTL I am going to XST and I am going to save that I am changing that importing that and uh, the next step that I need is to take the Maven and uh, whenever we are creating here it will Maven clean generate clean text p to generate so it will give that. so it's generate uh, classes I guess so the directory we are going to see here it's country get country yeah everything is here but the problem is the uh, package so package we need to specify somewhere around here so I, I'm going to keep the same package here so I don't need to change that also so right now we can see how we will make the call so what I am going to do is we will use the command line run so whenever whenever so for testing purpose how I will do is whenever I am running my Spring Boot application it will run the command line runner so most of this stuff I am not going to uh, yeah write it down so I am going to just adding into my application by copying from some resources so I'm just adding this one being taught and I am entering here command line runner nothing to explain here so connector that we already created and arguments that we all know that that we discuss and here I am supplying Canada and uh, here I have uh, get country request that's the one so I need to change that so I get country request okay it's asking for it to upload that so I am uploading that and I am copying that same things to here and uh, I should have a get country response here instead of uh, the student that I copied from other place so I am going to to add that here and I need to add that one also then the next step I will copy this one to here and uh, I will minimize this one also and in response probably we need to change something so get country is the only one that that get name is the one that I need to care about and uh, here 
uh, population or currency that I can mention here currency here and uh, here I'm doing the same thing copying here get country get currency so that's all about this one I'm removing the third line and we are ready to go right now and uh, we need to mention our web service here so before i am going further i need to start my web service here so i am going to start this one here right now and uh, i need to start this one so here i need to mention my port also so i am going to select something like So something like nine five six two or something then yeah two six or something then I will do the remaining what I'm going to do is I will start this one also. So the other one uh, had some issues that port is already there. So probably is the application is running I guess I will check that whether the application is running okay the port is running right now so I don't need to care about that so I need to care about only about this one so I am just building that so right now I got some exceptions so we need to track down that exception what it means so the martial error defined in the class path invocation of unit with the linked exceptions context factory cost by and categorized mapping exception unknown jacks b exception implementation of jay has not been found on module path with linked expression just okay if you are Copying this one and uh, searching on some of the websites, probably you guys will find the solution. We will try to find this. We will try to find this online. We will, uh, yeah, we will try to find this one. And if it's not going to work out we will try some other other way to find this uh, find this where uh, to solve this issue so so they are saying like some dependency problem so whenever I am going here and there is any jack speed dependencies here so there is no jack speed dependencies that's a problem for that so if i am doing that dependencies it will work so i am copying that dependency into my dependency tree and uh, i need to import the changes first before i am going to running it again so right now we are fine we are trying to run again and let's see what is going to happen so right now still we have some issues with martial law there are creating being named martial law config class invocation of unit method okay this is the problem in configuration file have config i mentioned martial law so there's a problem with okay so com web service schema countries doesn't contain object factory so it should contain an object factory so it's very very straightforward error so if we are changing this one with uh, this one it will work consumer have config 
and we need to mention where we have the context path for that merge layer okay object factory so okay so right now we are finished no valid crumb was included in the um, request no valid crumb was included in the request that's also another error that we could somewhere it's related to csr of protection so Okay, that's a uh, so that's related to the proxy. So if we have some open API that we can try, but right now we are finding it's not working. So it's related to the CSR of so we have no choice for this one this is from the uh, from the uh, web service we are getting this one so until calling the web service everything is fine thank you for watching have a nice day